He's back for a new season as the mayor of Los Angeles. Two-time Emmy winner Ted Danson stars as retired billionaire businessman Neil Bremer, who's still trying to figure out what he stands for while attempting to gain the respect of his deputy mayor, Arpey, played by Oscar winner Holly Hunter. They both join us now on Showbiz Express to bring us up to date on their characters and what to expect in this latest season of Mr. Mayor. Ted, Holly, thank you so much for doing this and congratulations on the new season. Uh, let me begin with you, Ted. Uh, how do we move into the new season? How does the mayor approach uh, this new term, if I may? Well, I think he probably has come to the realization that uh, just because he wanted to prove to himself and his daughter that life wasn't over and he ran to be mayor does not necessarily qualify him to be the mayor. So this, this year he decides to right away hire uh, something he calls the innovation team. Uh, you know, the brightest, youngest brains in California to, uh, to start shaping his administration. And it's, uh, you know, it creates huge amount of friction uh, in the office. It, it, it does provide a, a love affair for one of the characters, but, but it really is just uh, messes things up even more. And that innovation or I team Ted referred to that's been hired doesn't sit well at all with RP. Is there something you need from me, RP? I need you to explain to me why you think our administration needs outside help from a bunch of boss babies. It's so interesting to think about the I team um, innovation guys coming in because RP works from, it, it, she's like, old school she mm -hmm. is analog and in a way that's the way city halls all across the united states operate you know they're grassroots it's the ground up it's can somebody please um, um tighten the manhole cover that is that is clattering every time a car goes over it i mean you've got those kinds of issues that are coming into city hall people screaming about whatever, the, the curbs not being level on their street. I mean, you, it, it's from the ground up that, that council members are, are dealing with issues in their city. From that all the way to homelessness and uh, traffic in Los Angeles. So the, the, the challenge for RP in this season, dealing with these Silicon Valley guys who come in with, uh, with virtual reality um, approaches to problems is, is, is like, it's so um, beyond annoying. Yeah, I, I love that, you know, we're in the age of men discovering the, the, the real meaning of mansplaining and, <laughs> and beginning to realize that, dear Lord, I never open my mouth without actually starting to mansplain something. Uh, and I think, I think, you know, to have Neil Bremer, who uh, has taken a, a sweet, you know, he's a good guy, but a very shallow cut on life and is now, you know, explaining to RP how the city should be run. It has to be the most maddening thing in the world for her character because she, she does desperately care the old fashioned way, really care about, you know, what they're doing. You say you're progressive. But what do you do every time I have a cool idea? We tried that in 86, sir, and not physically sound, sir. How about instead of sushi drones, you know, we give pregnant women health care. You are as rigid as any Republican I have ever yachted with. How dare you use yacht as a verb? Mr. Mayor airs Tuesday nights on NBC. And for the Showbiz Express in Hollywood, I'm Ross Crystal. <laughs>